the Mulligan Noises Hurdle will kick off day two of the third week of the new season. And it's a two mile five furlong Noises Hurdle this time with Wayward Cats. At the top four, Leon Van Rensburg, Ariel along for Darren Thompson, Carson's Rocket, Paul Rhodes, King of the Kingdom, Joshua Sutherland, Native Tongue, Obi Wan, Starlight, David Hooley, and Country Girl for Martin Leadham. So seven then in this. All ready to go, and away they go with a bit of sunshine for a change as well. And it's Carson's Rocket the Great, who's just the first to shoot with Native Tongue wide on the track and between the two of them country girl so they sorted themselves out making their way towards the first of ten flights that they've got to take in this one and native Tom clearing the lead over the first they all jump it nicely with country girl now just really got it to the back they a good jump by aerial along moving that one out of back spot but it's native tongue who's the early leader then from starlight in the purple jacket over on the far side second as they get to the second and one's inside is wayward cats a little bit of a gap to king of the kingdom in the black and the red the only gray in the field is carson's rocket and then all along and finally country girl at the back so they get to the third all safely over that one all hurdling nicely with native tongue sitting sensible sort of pace leads by two and a half minutes or so to starlight I would catch that on this near rail. And the king of the kingdom between them. And then air it along on the inside. And the Grey Carson's rocket just behind that one. And Country Girl just settled down at the back with the whole field inside. So Native Tongue then continues to leap. The order not really changing that much. Make their way down towards the next flight. With native tongue still in the lead, but only by about two now as they get to the fourth. All safely over the fourth. With Starlight just showing its head in the second ahead of Wayward Cats. Gap of a couple of lengths then to air it along. Or Darren Thompson with King of the Kingdom. Behind that one, then the Grey Carson's Rocket. And finally, Country Girl is the back marker as they get over number five. And that's the midway point in the jumping. We'll pass the stand there. Just less than a mile and a half still to go. We'll pass the winning post shortly. Be impressive looking stand. We'll pass this winning post. And then swing out for a full circuit of the track with Native Tongue clearing the lead by a good four or five lengths in there to Starlight is in second. Wayward Cats on the inside, probably just still third. Ahead of King of the Kingdom in the black and the red then. Here along has just moved off the fence. Carson's rocket is going to try and go up that fence, I think, and take that little bit of a gap that's been vacated by here along. Country girl is quite happy to sit two or three wide on the track. And it's native tool who's been in the lead all the way. Now King of the Kingdom moves into second as they take the sixth. And the field definitely beginning to bunch now. No more than six lengths first to last. Uh, native tongue is still the leader. And the Grey Carson's Rocket is making a forward move around the outside. King of the Kingdom is also getting closer. Then Starlight and Wayward Cats, then Country Girl and Ariel along. They're all still in this one. Didn't rule anything out just yet. As Carson's Rocket, the Grey, comes to take a share of the lead with Native Tongue as they get to the eight. That's the third from home. They're all over that nicely. King of the Kingdom jumped it really well. Jumped up into second. Native Tongue's now dropped back into third. Starlight is starting to get going. Country Girls creeping into it. Round the outside. Wayward Cat is looking for a little bit of room. But it's Carson's Rocket. With two to jump. Still a good four and a half furlongs to race. And Carson's Rocket is in the lead. And the Purple Jacketed Starlight second. Native Tongue trying to fight back on the inside. Wayward Cats has now got a split and has suddenly burst through into second. Country Girl's going to try and go up the centre of the track. King of the Kingdom is trying to get going as well. Area Long just caught a bit flat footed as they race down towards the final two flights in there. And Carson's Rocket is leading by about a length and a half to Wayward Cats in second. Country Girl is third. Starlight is fourth. They're over the second last. And Wayward Cats hits the front. It's Wayward Cats who takes it up from Carson's Rocket. These two are a good two to three lengths clear of Starlight and Country Girl. Area 
along, still trying to get closer. They race down towards the final flight, and Wayward Cats skips over it and pulls away from the remainder. And Wayward Cats is racing into the final foot along with a clear lead of a good four lengths. And he's going to start day two with another winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Well, looks at things, the jockey has a little look round. David Hewley Starlight is chasing, but not going to get close enough. And up towards the line, Wayward Cats takes it from Starlight Second, Country Girl Third, then Carson's Rocket Neary along King of the Kingdom, and finally Native Tongue. And Wayward Cats made its move coming into the straight, and really took the race over the final flight with a pretty comfortable two and a quarter length win. So Wayward Cats takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Starlight for David Hooley was second, Country Girl for Martin Little was third, Carson's Rocket for Paul Rose fourth, and Aaron along for Darren Thompson was fifth.